Hi and welcome to Sounds Heavenly. In this video I'm going to aim to answer what is probably the single most popular question that I get asked at SoundsHeavenly.com and that is can I connect a record player into my Bang & Olufsen BioLab loudspeakers? And the answer is yes, as it is with pretty much every other B&O connection question that you could possibly think of. However it's quite unique in that in the majority of cases you will need to consider adding some extra equipment between the record player and the speakers in order to get everything working. So in this video I'm going to help you to understand the setup, to appreciate what equipment you have and to get a measure of whether you're going to need to add anything into the system and if so what that will be so that you can get the best possible sound. Please come and join me. Now, first of all, we'll cover the simplest setup, where in some cases you won't need to add anything else in. You'll be able to plug a record player straight into your B&O speakers. And that is if you can see your speakers in the Bang & Olufsen app. So that will be the case for B&O's latest wireless multi-room speakers, such as the A9, the B Sound 2, the Emerge Level Balance, they're portable smart speakers like the uh, Beolit 17 and 20, and also their new smarter Beolab speakers, Beolab 28, 50 and 90. The key to this is when you can see the speaker in the app, you can adjust the volume in the app. Now, probably the most common misconception with this setup, if you just have a record player, and you have classic Beolab speakers like this lovely wooden clad Beolab 8000, neither of these devices has a volume control. The speakers and the record player rely on an external music system or amplifier to give you volume adjustment. And that's the thing that's missing if you have these classic speakers. At this point, an honourable mention has to go to BioLab 5, which although it predates the B&O app, that speaker is unique. It has direct volume control via a B&O infrared remote. And so you can actually turn the volume of those speakers up and down directly without anything else connected. So there's a few extra things to consider, including the record player you, or turntable you have. I'm going to explain everything in a moment. But first, let me show you with this setup here, just what's involved, just what's going on within the system. And then it should help you to understand with your setup what you have and also what you need to add in. At this point, if I were a lazy YouTuber, I would just paste up some pictures on screen on the video showing you all the different parts. But no, we do things properly here on this channel. So we have in real life a 1977 Bang & Olufsen BioCenter 3300. Wonderful music system. Um, it has a turntable, a radio and an amplifier built in. And in the 70s, this was pretty much the height of musical excellence and still a wonderful system today. So you know what, I am actually going to be a lazy YouTuber. This weighs 15 kilos. I'm not in the mood to hold this up to the camera, so please bear with me. I'm going to bring the camera down to the system and show you how everything works. Now, although you, you'll probably in most cases be looking at a separate record player that you want to connect to your speakers, this is actually a really good unit to illustrate what's going on because the record player in this BO Center was actually sold by BNO as a unique separate unit. And showing it here in the system will hopefully help you to understand what's going on. Now you'll see that here there's also a radio in this system and that's a really good thing to illustrate because all the other component parts and music sources in a system like this have a very similar electrical output whether it be a radio, reel-to-reel -reel tape deck, CD player, music streamer on new systems, or cassette tape, they all produce about two volts of electrical output. However, the record player, because of its 
quite old technology, the fact that um, a needle on the end of that arm follows a vibrating groove as the record turns, turns that into electrical energy, it actually produces one thousandth, or so 0.1% of the output of all those other components I mentioned. And that means that that signal has to be boosted before it can be played through the system. And this is where we come to the first stage in the chain of signals, the phono preamp. This is a specific type of amplifier which basically raises the bass in the record player output because the limitations on those physical grooves mean that the bass level has to be turned down and it boosts up the signal so that it matches all the other components in the system, radio, tape, CD, and etc. And the second thing we need is a volume control. As we mentioned earlier, this is critical that somewhere in the chain between the turntable and the loudspeakers, you need a way to turn the volume up and down. So whether that be a physical dial or slider, as it is here, or in the app, in a newer system, you need a way of adjusting the volume. The final part of the chain is one that with BLAB speakers we don't need to worry about. The old power amplifier that used to go out to passive loudspeakers in the 70s is now replaced with built-in amps in the BLAB speakers. So they will take the signal from the phono preamp after the volume control and then amplify them up to give you the volume you need. So, how do we work out whether we need a separate phono preamp and how do we add a volume control? Let me explain. Now first, let's cover the phono preamp. Whether your turntable's from B&O or from another brand, there are some easy ways to work out if that's there. If you have a Bang & Olufsen turntable, then only the very latest models had a preamp built in. And I can pretty much tell you all the models involved. They were from the early 1990s. We have Biogram 3500, 4500, 6500 and 7000. They had tangential arms. So whereas the 1970s system here has what you'd normally expect, an arm that's pivoted and then it turns as the needle tracks through the groove. The tangential turntables had a motorised arm which would go along parallel with the side of the record player. So those later models have preamps built in. Everything earlier doesn't have a preamp. However, there were a couple of models that had an optional slot in preamp inside. And they were the Biogram 1500 from the mid 1960s and the Biogram 6000, which when you enabled its four channel or quadraphonic capabilities, they included a slot in phono preamp. Also, the latest reissued Biogram 4000C, which is currently available from BNO, has the preamp module added. And if you are the lucky owner of one of those, you'll note that in the box come these two cables which were made here in this workshop and they allow you to plug in the Biogram 4000C directly to any non-BNO amplifier or to any BNO smart speakers. So you can connect that turntable directly to, for example, BLM 28 and get your music playing with nothing else needed, the phono preamps in the turntable, the volume controls in the app. So that's the easiest setup of all. If you have the smart speakers that you can see in the app and you have a later biogram with the preamp, then yes, it's just a case of adding the cable, which I'll link to in the video description and you can get everything working. If you have a non b &O turntable, then all you need to do is look on the rear panel of the turntable to decide if you have a preamp in. If it's an older model, 
then generally, nine times out of ten, there is no preamp. We'll look at in a moment at how to add that in. But if there's a preamp on a different brand of turntable, whether that be Project, Riga, Technics, any other brand, then you will normally see a switch on the back that will be marked either preamp on or preamp off, or it'll be marked line or phono. Without that switch, there's no preamp in the turntable. So, if you have an earlier biogram without a preamp, or you have a non-BNO turntable without a preamp, don't worry, that's easy to sort out. Again, it'll be linked in the video description, but I make um, a set with suitable cables and a good quality external preamplifier, which will boost the signal from a turntable, equalize the base level, and get everything suitable for use with either BNO smart speakers via the app or to go into a separate music system with a volume control so that you can use them with classic Beer Lab speakers. So, I mentioned a music system. <laughs> this is the final part of the chain. This is the case that if you have something like the Beer Lab 8000s here, Beer Lab 6000s, Pentas, 4000s, lovely beer lab 3000s on the wall, any of these classic beer labs that are not visible in the BNO app and hence don't have their own volume control, you're going to need a music system of some sort connected between the turntable that's now either has an internal preamp or has had one added and the speaker. So how do we do this? Well if you have a B&O music system from the same era as your speakers that you originally used them with, that's fine. One option is to keep that in place. So you might have got something like a BS Sound 9000 multi-CD player, BS Sound Overture. Um, generally speaking, the systems from the era of BLAB speakers don't have phono preamps. So we'll rely on adding in a phono preamp to your turntable and then getting that boosted. If at the moment you don't have anything other than record player and speakers, don't worry. What I'd suggest, there are tens of thousands of options to choose from. Any manner of AV receiver for movies, amplifier or music system for, for music listening. Um, that there's all sorts of network streamers and the like, but the probably three simple options I can I'd suggest considering first. One is Bang & Olufsen's own Beer Sound Core, which is a music streamer with an auxiliary input. And that's great because you can use your phone to control volume, to stream wireless music to the speakers, but also you can plug in your record player. The second and third are cheaper versions of that. Either Sonos's Connect or Port music streamers, which again have line inputs, or the similar Blue Sound node. And also from Bang & Olufsen, on the pre-owned market, the earlier versions of their streamers, the Playmaker and the Essence, are also really good options. So for all of those devices, the Essence Playmaker and Core from b and the Port and Connect from Sonos and the Node from Blue Sound, they don't have phono preamps. So you'll take your turntable, either the later B&O model or a new non-B&O that has a preamp and you'll plug it into that music streamer. Cables for this are available. So for the core, we'll have for a Biogram turntable, a um, DIN to mini jack and to go into either Playmaker, Essence or any of the non-B&O options, we've got a DIN to twin RCA cable. There are variations of these cables available for any combination of music streamer and turntable. So please don't worry, drop me a line via the contact page at soundsheavenly.com if you've got any questions and I'll help you work out the option you need. The setup there with any of those streamers basically gives you a fully functioning controllable music system with music streaming and vinyl record playback. So that's a really good way forward. If you're looking to build up a setup from scratch, 
you want some nice stylish speakers and a turntable and everything else is behind the scenes out of the way. The other options, as I mentioned, classic music systems from the, the 1990s and 2000s, um, BSL 9000, Overture, um, they are great ways of getting a stylish music system that whilst they don't give you music streaming, they allow you to plug in your record player and also play CDs and get FM radio where that's available in your country. So please have a think at this point, decide how you want your music system to be set up, whether you want music streaming as a priority or whether you want to have access to other classic music sources such as CD and radio. Drop me a line, please. I'm here to help. Connecting B&O is what I do. So hopefully this video has helped you to get a flavour for what's involved when you first have that thought that I want to plug my record player into my B&O speakers and to see what's needed in the chain to get the signal at the right level and to give you control of the volume for comfortable listening. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. This is one of many, I think around about 150 so far, videos for BNO Connections. There'll be plenty more to follow. Thank you for watching.